Hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Can you hear me very clear? Yes. Good night. Okay. Hi. How are you doing today? How was your day? How how is how was your Friday? At least busy because busy. I'm here. <laughs> okay. But after ten o'clock, I'm free. I'm going to play at least at four a.m. and <gasps> then I'm going to sleep until what? twelve o'clock. Why until four? <laughs> because I need to recover all the time, uh, all the lost time that I I cannot play in this week. <laughs> oh my God! But it's a lot of a lot of hours. From ten to four, we are talking about six hours. Um. Yes. And you do it alone, or your wife play with you? Uh, I'm playing alone because my wife play all uh, during the day. So, uh, in 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 the week I cannot play because I I'm here. I come very tired. So, uh, as a as on my school time, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's our my my days to play. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> because yeah, a lot of a lot of hours. But if you feel if you feel relaxed and that is a way like uh to release the stress, it's good. Es mi único vicio. En algo me tengo que perder. Okay. I understand. Do you play with other uh, people in another countries? Because uh, guess... no, 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 no. I prefer to play local by myself. Okay. Because when I'm when I get a a, a lost, I'm I I become very angry. So I I want to play a uh, relax by myself alone. Okay. Good. So you can play with one of your classmates here, the ones that that also are like you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Good. Thank you so much uh, for uh, being here, everyone. I can see Gilberto, Lady, Rodrigo, Robert, uh, Andres, Daniela, Maria Leticia, Cindy, Mauricio Bruca, Sofia. And Nancy. Okay, good. 12 students. Well, uh, 11, because Gilberto is in uh, in two devices, I guess. Are you from your cell phone and from your laptop, uh, Gilberto? Eh, sí, la estoy utilizando. Ver cómo, estoy viendo cómo logro coordinarme con ella. Okay. Okay. Well, um... We're going to start today. Well, today is Friday. Oh my God, August. Oh my God, I, I, I got back to the knows time. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today is Friday, October the sixth. Okay. Uh, and this is the. This is the model two. Okay. Sorry that I didn't fix it. 
I'm using the the template for uh, the previous presentations and if I don't pay attention, I don't fix it. Okay, good. Uh, well, we have a lesson objective. Then we have the conversation that we have pending from yesterday. Well, the presentation. Then we are going to review adverb close of time, okay? At the end of this class, you will be able to use reduce adverb close of time, okay? That will be part of the grammar. Okay. Why I have this? What comes to your mind when you see this? S-W-O-T. There you have the answer, right? But uh, what comes to your mind when you see that? Mm -hmm. The S means strength. W means witnesses. Como oh, fortaleza, como un foda. Es como un foda, miss. Mm -hmm. Anti treats. Okay, we're going to see that later on. That is why I bring it here, just for you to know, to interpret interpret that. I don't know if you have seen that before, but yes, uh, that is part of um company. Okay. So in, in our job, we can have this, okay? We can have a, a strength, okay? A fortalezas que usted tenga, que algo que usted es muy fuerte en. Witnesses, como sus debilidades, okay? Lo que usted necesite um, pensar que necesita mejorar. And opportunities, right? Opportunities. Um... Also, we can say that is part of what you need to change, right, in the company, or what you need to do better, okay? And treat. Okay. We have here different um, meanings, okay? For example, for a strain, we have since your company does well, okay? Uh, qualities that separate you from the, your competi competitors. Internal resources such as skilled, knowledgeable staff. Uh -huh. Tangible assets such as intellectual, property, capital, proprietary, and technologies. Okay? So we're talking about everything that is good. Okay? About you or your company. Then we have witnesses, things your company lack, okay? Since your comp competitors do better than you, okay? What you need to improve, right? Resources, limitations, or clear unique selling pro propositions, okay? That is part of the witnesses. Uh, opportunities we have under underserved market for a specific product few competitors in your area, emerging need for your product or services, press media coverage of your company. Yeah, part of your other opportunities that we have, that we can have in a company. And the treats, emerging competitors, uh, changing regulatory environment, negative press, media coverage, changing customers' attitudes, toward your company, okay? Um, it has to do, it has to do um, about emotions or attitudes that you can have or someone can have in your company. Also, we can speak about customers. This is just to give you a general idea about this, what is the meaning of this, because we're going to use uh, that in, in the next activities that we have, okay? Good. Uh, now, I will give you the space, uh, five minutes minimum, or you can take more if you need, to share the results of 
uh, the activity that you developed yesterday, okay? You're going to introduce the new product to the rest of the group. Uh, we're going to talk about everything that we requested yesterday to create in the presentation. So I have four groups. Um, I don't know who wants to be the first one. Volunteers. Eh, Mauricio, Sofía, pasamos. Nancy, Mauricio, Sofía, are you available? Ready? Hello, Mauricio, teacher. Hi. Uh, hi. I'm driving. Oh, are you driving uh, right now? Uh, I'll be ready in a, in a ten, five, ten minutes. Okay, no problem. You can okay, do it thank you. later. Thank you. thank you. Okay. Um, Carlos is not here yet. Can I see the group uh, where, where is Gabriela, Gilberto, and Jose Andres? What about you, Jose Andres? Are you driving? Jose Andres, I guess he's still driving too. Okay, uh, what about Lady, Maria Leticia and Katy? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, will be your turn. Okay. Let me stop sharing my screen in order you can share your screen. Okay. No se puede todavía. Oh, sorry. Let me keep <laughs> it. I didn't realize because I have to do it manually. <laughs> okay. Try now, lady. Yes. You can share your full screen to see it better. Yes. No, no, I see. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good evening, teacher and classmates. We are team three. Medio of Katy Briseida Hernandez, Lady Johanna Hernandez, and me, Maria Leticia Realejeño. Tonight, tonight we are pleased to present or new products select from a uh, brainstorm, for example, uh, brainstorm ideas for the new product technology, cleaning tool, cookware, massage service, producing screen, cream, is and skincare. Okay, that was the brainstorming, right? Yeah. Okay. We decided to make propels and choose a wonderful reducing cream that bright together all the char characteristics and need that your man or woman need is caring for your skin. My colleague uh, will ask with explain more about our product. Okay. Continue, Katy Briseida. Good evening. Characteristic of the target market, people who want to receive these measures, improve the aesthetic appearance of your skin, ideal for string entire people. People don't have time to exercise, Ideal for people over 18 years old. Why would they be interested in your new product? 
tired of going to the gym and not seems result. Hamper yourself from the comfort of your home. It use is easy and practical. Okay, with the pylon heaters. If you spend so much time in the office that you don't have time to go to the gym, don't worry, these screens will help you stay perfect. Reducing body measurements is no longer a dream. Thanks to our cream is a reality. Goodbye, Longitas. Yeah, Reduce measure in a short time. Exquisite lavender fragrance. Promote collagen formation. Promote cell regeneration. Avoid fluid retention. Accessible price. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Okay, it seems that it's a good product. So who will buy that product? We want to buy it, someone? <laughs> <laughs> how many, how many? Goodbye, how, many <laughs> how many creams? How many creams? I want the first one. <laughs> because I don't like Thank to go you. to the gym. <laughs> okay. okay. I love my long hitas, you love your long hitas. Yes, yes. Okay. No, that is that is true. There are some creams like that, right? And people buy it. <laughs> okay. Just I have observations here. Repeat that, please, Kathy. Result. Result. Mm -hmm. Result. Okay. Result. Yes. Um another word that I have, lady. Measurement. Yes. Measurement. 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 Mm -hmm. Measurement. Correct. Thank you so Thank much. You. That was good. Thank you. All good characteristics and everything. Um Thank you so much for your presentation. Okay, good. Um, now, let me see who, we, who else is ready. Carlos is, a, is, is here. I don't know if your group is ready, Carlos. Carlos, Cindy, and Daniela? Uh, yes, yes, Chef. Okay. I, I try to show you the okay. presentation. Um, Okay, um, give me one second. Cindy and Daniela, are you there? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I think. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh good evening, classmates. Uh Miss Edith. Uh we are going to talk about uh, the launch of the their product. Uh, previous, previously to um, brainstorm a, a lot of ideas and we choose uh, this kind or item to uh, try to launch uh, this product, right? Uh, is uh, dog's food. Her name is Rocky, right? Um, I think in the we uh, this presentation or 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 full uh, in three presentation for example uh five pounds ten pounds and twenty five pounds okay um Cindy please go ahead with the next okay 
Okay. <clears throat> the introduction is how to take care of dogs. Our product promises the best technology. Nutrition specific design for your pet, from puppies to medium or large adults, that help visibly improve their quality of life from the inside out. Daniela. Okay. A good dog food is made up primarily of meat and is supplement with healthy fat, wool, grains, fruits, vegetables, and other nutrients. The best food or the ideal food is the one that contains high quality versions of these ingredients in the right proportions and is also free of chemicals, artificial flowers, and colorings, which is why our company has created new formulas so that your dog I have a full life and good health. For that reason, the new presentation of Rocky comes with more proteins and vitamins for you pet. His presentation are offered double. They are very economical, so you can pamper and feed your pet well. Uh, okay, uh, the receipts are classified for, for uh, puppies and um, adults' dogs, right? Uh, the recipe for puppies could uh, have to uh, calcium and vitamins, and the recipes to uh, adults have to uh, fat and pro pro probiotics and protein and vitamins. Okay, so teacher, thank you. Okay, very good. I like the dog <laughs> the presentation. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. Pound. Thank you, teacher. Yes, Thank repeat you. that. Yes. Repeat that, Carlos. Pound. Okay, teacher. Pound. 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 Oh, okay, pound. pound. Five pounds. Uh -huh. yeah. Five pounds. Ten pounds. Correct. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, uh, repeat version. Daniela? Be what? Version. Version. Yes. What mean version? I guess it's uh, version. He said version. Ah, version. version. Okay. Yes. Also repeat chemical. Chemical. Yeah. Chemical. Chemical. Yes. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that word too. And repeat affordable. Affordable. Mm -hmm. That oh. is the prices, talking about prices, right? Money. Oh. Affordable. Okay. Oh. Very good. That was good presentation. I Thank you so me. much. Okay. Who will um buy Rocky? It is a new product. Okay, Carlos. Who else? Only me. This. Only you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Um, thank you so much. Now, next group, where is uh um Jose Andres? Are you ready? Right. Yes, teacher, but okay. my group are Gilberto and Gabriela, but right now I just see, I just can see uh, Gilberto, but we are ready. Joseph. Yes. Gabriela is me. Yes, yeah, okay. teacher, but it's pos if it is possible that you can share for us, the, or I don't know if Gilberto can share this, the, the screen. The presentation? Yeah. Yes. Let me see. I, I remember that Gabriela sent it, right? To the group? Yes, send it from yes, just that you send it. Okay, let me check. 
Okay, let me share this screen. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. So let's start. Good, good, good night, everyone. We are going to talk about for for a product that the idea we have three ideas, but the most uh, the we select one idea from Gilberto that he that he talk at talk about the uh, about some about a plant that her that his work that his work um, make first the you can change the can you see it Yes, teacher. Sorry, the idea generation. We make the uh, the first product that is start anise. That is the name of the product. Okay, that, that is, is the, the that is the name of the product. Start anise. Yes, teacher. And the second, the characteristics uh, from the new products. We have two main ideas. That is people with a stomach pro stomach problems and for family use. The characteristics of our product or the market, the target market are it packing packaging in, uh, is a cardboard boxes. It is a medicinal product and it is a natural product. So, Gilberto can follow with the presentation. Okay. Interested, it is a care product. Sign is origin in front chain. And it is called an affordable for families and help for the DST problem. And it is a product that has no side effects. Okay. Affordable. Remember, affordable. affordable. Mm -hmm. affordable. Scarce. 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 Product. Product. China. China. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else, Hiperto? Eh. Oh, no. Sorry. It's a, it's and concept it is using a for food and regulates gastric acids and helps maintain unhealthy digestive system is a natural way. Okay. I I don't know that kind of um a start anise. You you sell it like this? It is still like uh, um in the way that it grow up in the in the plant, right? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Mm. Okay, I didn't know but, how was the But we well, but but from uh, Gilberto Tolas uh, he's a pro in a new product that his company reproduced but it's from from China. So from China. It's a new product. Yes, teacher from China. So it's a new product or country it could have. Oh, it is not yet in the country, Gilberto. No. No. Okay. Very interesting. Very good. Anything else that you want to add about the product? Or questions that your classmate may have about the product? Anyone? No? No questions? No questions. Okay, that was, was really good. 
Thank you so much for this information. <clears throat> Okay, um, now will be group number four. What is, um, Rodrigo, Nancy, and Mauricio. Mauricio Bruca, are you available now? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, very good. I will okay. stop sharing and already you can share your screen, okay? Okay. Let me let me know, please. Can you see it? Yes, we can see it. Okay. Well, um, this is our our work with Mauricio and Sofia. Uh, in this case, we are talking about the roof and shingle. Uh, this is a, uh, a special type of roof or ceilings. May, the main target of this type of roof is for exclusive houses. Uh, I don't know, Mauricio, do you want to talk al about the product a little, please? A brief introduction. Okay, Rudy. Okay, we are presenting you uh, a new kind of roofing. Uh, is the most beautiful roofing in uh, the at the moment. Uh, some uh, characteristics of target market is oriented to luxury and exclusive res res residence highlights the architectural beauty of the property product for exclusive distribution of large construction company this is a new product uh, that, that we have uh, importing in uh, our company and um, this product has about uh, 50 years of warranty. And the, uh, this product has uh, uh, an other characteristics like uh, it's thermoacoustic. Uh, this 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 say that is um, a product of innovation in our country. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, after Mauricio briefing and some description of this type uh, of roofing, uh, the main idea, uh, as we know, uh, we should uh, we usually use and install in. Oh, I don't know, all the houses, I think, uh, the classic Sincalum or, ter or Ternium, uh, classica lamina mm -hmm. in, in some cases. But this type of roofing, as Mauricio told, uh, it's, a, it's, an ex it's, a, it's an exclusive one because the, the, well, the price is very high, as, as you can see here in some of the photos, uh, but uh, the main the, the main idea of this type of roofing is to is to complement uh, the architectural of the designs of, uh, of top houses, uh, maybe ma mansions. Uh, uh, as Mauricio say, uh, some of characteristic, uh, uh, the interest of the products are uh, it is thermoacoustic. Uh, it it protects you about the uh, uh, when the uh, the weather is hot, and also they they prevent uh, some kind of noises from from inside the house either uh, and uh, from outside. 
uh, it is it is for a uh, with easy installation and low waste this is a uh, it means that uh, the people uh, construction people uh, obreros or albañiles uh, can uh, can uh, insulate the this type of roofing very easy and there are no any type of waste powder or any any other thing and this is a revolutionary idea this is new here in central america doesn't exist instant right now because the in the main work of mauricio they import this type of ceiling so uh, maybe in the future uh, the will be more usual, more common. So the price will drop down and many other people get, can get it. And maybe will be another type of designs and colors. Uh, well, this is the main idea. This is the roofing and this is our product. Very interesting. I like it. So, it is already in the country, uh, Mauricio, or not yet? Oh yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. It is. Uh, it, it is. Yeah, we 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 are uh, working with 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 this product in our country. Uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, some uh, several colors. Mm -hmm. um, if you want uh, a roofing blue color, uh, green, uh, black, uh, you can have many options to 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 for your construction for your home. Mm -hmm. uh, we are we are importing this product from Canada and USA. In USA. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because yeah, I can see that the structure is is uh is, is similar to the house that we can see in those countries. Yeah, yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, if I want to con construct my house like that, I will. I will. Your request... mansion, teacher. Yeah, I deserve. <laughs> I deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. La champita es para nosotros. Ah. <laughs> okay, but yeah, it's very interesting. But you said that uh, it is for 15 years only? The, the, the warranty extended is, is about uh, 15 years of warranty. So mm -hmm. the, this is a very high quality of, of ceiling. Also, we forgot to add, but... Uh, this type of uh, well, in order to make this uh, this uh, this roofing, uh, the materials uh, to cons to use it, to construct this uh, are uh, uh, eco eco friendly. Eco it is green. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, very good, and I guess that is easier to install that in in the house. It's mm -hmm. not complicated like the other. Not thing. complicated. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. If you want to say um, obreros, you can say workers uh -huh. too. Uh, workers. Mm -hmm. Or you okay. can, if you want to say albañil, you mm -hmm. can say mason. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and that how, is how do name. how do you spell Mason? That is M A S O N. Mm -hmm. Ah, así Mason, Mason. Mason, yeah. Mm -hmm. Another okay. way to say albañil is uh, mm -hmm. bricklayer. Bricklayer. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's a new one for me, like bricklayer or Mason. Okay, good. Y maestro de obra. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Gra it's... Grand Mason. <laughs> Grand Mason. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that will be like the head of the uh, el, the supervisor. Yeah, supervisor. Me imagine this. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Thank good. you. That was good. Interesting. Good. Really good um, products. So we are creative. Okay. Let me continue. Let me share my screen again. <clears throat> okay. What do you remember about SWOT? What is a SWOT analysis? The, the strengths, the strength, strength. the Weakness. Weakness, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Okay, very good. Yeah, the four of them, right? So, do you know what a step of analysis each of the letter in SWOT represents? You already mentioned that, right? Mm -hmm. Have you ever conducted a SWOT analysis in your company? Very usual in my case. Very usual? In, uh, yes. yes. Because you work with, uh, you handle a group with, of people, right? You deal with them. And not, not only people. In my case, we provide, with providers, with other companies who provide me uh, main material. So we have, we use uh, a formal to fulfill, uh, fulfill it for the, to the, uh, for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a uh, an space. Um, it's similar of this of this. Uh, I think SWOT in SWOT. this case. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, SWOT. Uh, and we we determinate uh, for 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 our knowledge uh, the strengths. Uh, um, any other threats in this case? If the company, for example, is in China. Usually, some company of um, in China are not very um, professional, I think, and we 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 need to uh, protect us from from them. So I I I have very uh, I'm very familiar with this. Oh, okay, very interesting, Rodrigo. Good to know that. Also, we we usually use the SWOT for to evaluate uh, ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, other uh, other people from the for the uh, for the equipe. Okay. Uh, no, no, uh, the equipo de trabajo. Uh, uh, teamwork. Teamwork. The teamwork. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, 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 we we can apply this word in many in many areas. Okay, interesting. Good. Uh, thank you so much, Rodrigo, for uh share your experience, sharing your experience. Okay, someone else who wants to share your experience. No, I guess sure. Rodrigo, you have experience because of the position that you have, right, in your company. Yes, and also it is the main. What it, it is, it it no. It, it 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 is one of the main area in the business administrator. For oh, that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we have a conversation about uh, the same topic. So we're going to continue speaking about speech masters. Do you remember that we, speak, we spoke about that yesterday? Uh, it says a speech master is, pl is planning to open a new branch. Mr. Rivas, the general manager, is meeting with a team to run a swap analysis of the new project. So there is a conversation here between Mr. Rivas and Mario and Jose. We had three uh, in the same conversation. So I need participants now, three for each. 
Tai. Uh, thank you, Carlos, Robert, Maria Leticia, Gilberto, Mauricio. Okay, first will be Carlos, it will be Mr. Rivas. Okay, teacher. Roberto, you will be uh, Mario. And Maria Leticia, you will be Jose. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know uh, whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strength that means the advantage we have over our com computers. Competitors. Go ahead. Uh, okay. We offer flexible schedule to adapt to our customer busy agenda. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skill, science, the first class. Uh, that's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Witnesses are areas in which the comparison are compatibility the disadvantage in our case at witness might be the lack of parking space for our customer. Um you are you are right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we'll still need to go over the opportunities and threat or danger of sight that could affect the company. Okay. Thank you so much. Teacher, excuse me, what's mean whether to go on? Um, whether to go on, what is it? Sorry. Yes, what I to go on is the uh, Mario starts the the conversation. Oh, excuse me, it's Mr. Rivers. Excuse me. the the, oh. the first part. Well, of it. let's yeah. get it started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on. Mm. We we will know. Ajá. Vamos Queremos a saber. saber. Sí. sí. Continuar uh -huh, or, or no. stop. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Where well, it's like a C or it's like a yes, maybe. It's like a if. Yes, it's, it, uh -huh, como C. Ah, it's, like, it's conditional, maybe. Yeah. Mm, okay. Similar Thank to you. if. Be similar to if. Mm -hmm. Okay, please repeat this, this word. Strength. 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 How do you pronounce weaknesses? Weaknesses like this. Yeah. Weak weaknesses. Good. Yes. Witnesses. Weaknesses. Okay. E the other word that maybe Robertio says. Uh, I don't know. Dis 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 okay. Disadvantage or Disadva something. Yeah. Disadvantages. Or disadvantage. Advantage. Advantage. Mm -hmm. okay. Also, Robertito, <laughs> repeat this, please. Since. 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 It's Robertito. Robertito. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Since because the first he, he class. says 
sounds. Uh, I don't know, but you saw so, you sounds different this one. But it's since 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 Sin the first class since. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Sint. Correct. Thanks. Also, you said corpo. It is corporations. Okay, here corporations. Corporation. Cor corporation. Mm -hmm. Okay, another word that <clears throat> I need Compare. to pronounce. Really... Competitor. 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 Uh, competitor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Corporation are competitor. Com competitor. Competitor. Yes. yes. Disadvantage. Thank you so much, guys, for your participation. That was really good. Thanks, Okay, now uh, next will be Gilberto, Mauricio, and Rodrigo. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I can be Mr. Rivas. Okay, Mr. Rivas. And then Mario can be Gilberto. Okay. And Mauricio can be Jose. Okay. Uh, well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT anal anal analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strength that means the advantage we have over our competitor. Competitors. Competitor. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills, sign the third class. Since. Since the third class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing uh, discussing our strengths, let's continue our with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses area are uh, areas I wish the corporation the corporation a competitive disadvantage. In a work case, a warnish might be the lack of parking is paid for our customers. You right, you right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Thank you so much. Very good. Competitively. Repeat that, please. Competitively. Repeat that. Competitively. 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 Mm -hmm. Compare. Com Compare. 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 Compare.
amenaza. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Now, uh, Nancy, Cindy, and Lady. Yes, I will be Mr. Rivas. Okay, thank you so much. Mario will be uh, Cindy, and Lady will be Jose. Go ahead. Okay. Well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strength. That means the advantage we have over our competitors. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to adapt to our customers. Busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weakness. What are weakness about? Uh, weakness are areas in which the corporations are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, our witness may, might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Thank you so much. Okay. Threats here. Threats. Threats. Mm -hmm. um, we need to repeat a lot. Strength. Strength. I consider that is one of the most difficult words to learn to how to pronounce. But yes, we need to um, repeat the most difficult words that we consider that are more um, challenging. Challenger? Yeah. For, for your pronunciation or um, to learn it. Try to repeat, repeat and repeat, okay? Until you get it, okay? Strength. 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 Okay, that will be one difficult for some of you. And the other one that I consider that is as difficult to competitively, competitively, competitively. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Um, then I have Julio Aristides and Andres, another volunteer. Buruka, you already participated, but I don't know if you want to participate again. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Well, yes, Mr. Rivas uh, will be Julio, Andres will be Mario, and Jose will be uh, Mauricio. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, well, uh, let's get started. Uh, after conducting a SWOT analysis, uh, we will know where to go on or stop with this project. Right, let's describe the strengths that means the advantages we have over our competitors. competitors. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public public speaking skills since the first class. And that's correct, uh, Mario. Uh, after discussing our strengths, uh, let's continue with our weakness. What are weaknesses about? Witness are areas in witnesses are areas in which the corporation are competitively disadvantages in our case, a witness might be the lack of parking space for customers. 
you're uh, you're uh, you right again, Mario. Uh, before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Thank you so much. Very good. Competitor. Repeat that, Andres. Competitors. Competitor. Competitor. Mm -hmm. Competitor. Competitors. Yeah. Thank you so much. And another word that we need to <clears throat> improve. Threat. Right? Threat. Threat. A threat. A threat. Teacher, what is the good pronunciation from competitively? The good pronunciation. The, 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 the pronunciation, the correct pronunciation. Yeah. Com competitively. Competitively. Uh, competitively. Uh -huh. Competitively. Competitively. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Teacher. About this conversation, yes, Carlos? Uh, excuse me, uh, when you says uh, threat, threat, is la, uh, la amenaza, maybe? Uh huh. Or when you says, or when I say uh, threat people? Treat is A another. Treat. Treat is another is another word, right? How you treat people. Right? Uh -huh. But this one is different. A spelling uh -huh. is different if you realize. He's without H, maybe. Mm, let me see. Treat, yes, without H. Without H. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Good. Very good. Another question that you may have? No? Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to continue. Okay, now we have here the definitions of these words, okay? Strength, witnesses, opportunities, and how do you pronounce that? Great. Great. Okay. Very good. And strange. Uh, What's mean, teacher? Strange. It is uh, when you are strong at. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alessa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Witnesses. When you um. Mm, how to explain that? No, no strong. Uh, when well, you are not strong doing that, when you need to choose that one, that is with witnesses. Debilidades. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. We're going to uh complete the definitions. I don't know who has an um. Gilberto, do you have a? Look, I guess the two uh, microphones open. Just one, Gilberto. Close yes, one. Please. Mute one. Eh, tengo tengo problemas problema con, con, con la computadora. Okay, I already did it. No problem. Uh, let me see. We're going to... Select the correct word. Okay, provide an analysis of the company's advantages over its comp competitors. What will be this word? Strange. Strange? Um, yes. Yes, I think is a strength. Okay, we can change it later on, no problem. So we we can make mistake if we if we want. 
No problem. Okay, it's train. Consider areas in which the companies are at competitive disadvantage. Witness. Witnesses. Okay. Weaknesses. Witnesses. Are a list of unexploited markets or business development. Opportunities. Okay. Okay, opportunities. Explore the external environment that could affect the company, including technological, environmental, and regulatory factors. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay, good. So we already know what is the meaning of SWOT analysis, right? Okay, good. So we're going to move on. Now, how to use reduce adverb close of time. I remember that we saw that before. Uh, in the previous model. Do you remember? We saw some of them, right? So look at the examples in the box and then complete the exercises that we're going to have later. So the adverb close, it says introduced by, uh -huh, before, after, since, and while, right? Can be reduced to modifying adverb phrases. Okay, adverb close. We have an adverb close here. After we conduct a SWOT analysis, okay, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Okay, and then we have an adverb phrase. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go or stop with this project. Okay. To reduce an adverb clause to a phrase, we do the following. We lem eliminate the subject in the verb closed. Mm -hmm. For example, we, we don't have it here, right? We said just after conducting. We eliminate the subject, okay? In the adverb clause. And the, if the clause has a form of the verb V, we eliminate it too, okay? If the clause has any other verb difference from V, we add ing, okay? In this case, what we did, we eliminated we, that is the, the um, the subject, and we added ing to the main verb. You can see, after conducting, why? Because after the adverbs, in this case, adverb close, or adverb uh, phrase, so after the, this adverb, we use ing if we don't have any subject before the verb, right? Um. The reduction is only possible when the subject of the adverb clause and the independent clause are the same, okay? Here we have another example. Before we make a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threat that could affect the company, okay? This is an adverb closed. Then we have the adverb phrase. Before making, okay, we eliminate the subject and we add ing to the to the verb, okay? Before making a decision, 
we still need to go over the opportunities and threats that could affect the company. Okay. Sure. Yes. And the same uh, sentences uh, means the same. Means the same, yes. Okay. So the difference is that uh, in this case, we include the subject. We are including the subject. We are saying we, right? But okay. in the other, before making a decision, it means that it could be any anybody that is no, including me, mm -hmm. right? So that is the only difference. So example three, before the new product project gets a green light, we still need to beat the threat from outside, okay? So in this case, um, the example that is here that says, if if we um, eliminate a new product, in this case, it is eliminated a new product, before getting a, a green light, we still need to beat the treats from outside. So in this case, uh, it is marked like uh, incorrect. Why? Because the subject in the adverb clause and in the independent clause are different, okay? So the reduction should not be done. Because here we are, we are, are talking about the new product, okay? Before the new product, the new product project gets a green light, we still need to beat the threat from outside. In this case, it doesn't make sense if we said uh, before getting a green light. About what? We don't know. Okay, that is why it's not incorrect because it it doesn't have sense. So we need to mention um we need to mention the subject. We are going to see more exercises about this and how to use it, okay? To clarify more doubts that you have, we're going to have um, practice with this. And I will bring more exercises. Uh, I'm going to bring like links in order we can practice doing this, reduce adverb clause of time, okay? I don't know if you have questions at this moment. Really appear very confused, teacher. Why, Carlos? Um, for example, the last uh, explanation, mm -hmm. uh, like el que está tachado, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, is similar to uh, sentences to be. And I don't know, teacher. When you says when you are explanation, uh, that is incorrect. The the last um explanation. I, I don't know, teacher. I don't know. Okay, I will bring more examples to to clarify these doubts. Like I I know that it can be confusing for you, right? Okay. I'm okay. going to bring more examples to clarify that the the example number three. Um, but in the difference between one, two, and three is that in the one and two, um, we can say before making a decision, right? We still need. So it means that uh, it is implied that we are talking about before making the decision, right? It it is it is similar with two. The difference is just the grammar point okay here okay. because we have the because we have the subject okay we cannot add, add an ing to the verb right but in the example two because we omit we deleted the subject okay. we can add ing okay after uh the adverb okay so using this before, after, since, while, 
If we don't have a subject, after that adverb, we can use ing verb. Also mm -hmm. for, uh, if I say, if I said, uh, thank you for letting me know, okay? Letting me know. If I say, thank you for let me know, is incorrect. That is why uh, it is um, after uh, for is verb with ing. We can understand, right? If if we if we listen to someone or or it could be also like native speakers, they don't pay attention to grammar, they can understand the message, but uh, grammar cannot be correct. Sometimes yeah. grammar it doesn't matter when you are speaking, but when you are writing, yes, it matters more than when you are speaking. Teacher, I remember that you you are uh, brought down in the message on WhatsApp when uh, maybe I have permission and you says, okay, thank you for letting know. Letting me know, yes. Letting me know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. Good. It is the the the. Uh, es el caso ahorita, ¿verdad? Yes, that is one example. After, uh, before, after, since, while, and there are more words, right? That if we don't have um, a subject after that word, we use ing verb. Okay. Yes. I uh, will bring more examples for you next class. Okay, we have um time to review because we were going to spend three weeks in the unit one and two. So we're going to review um more grammar. And I will I will bring some exercises. Um, or I would send exercises to the chat links if you want to practice more about this. Okay, I will remember that this weekend. If you have time, you can do it. If you have questions, also please let me know or you can um, write the questions in the chat. Hmm. Just hold on me a moment. Okay. Speaking with one, one of your classmates. Okay. Um, read the statements below. Reduce the adverb close to adverb phrase when possible. Okay, here we have more examples. After the product development team finished brainstorming, it's essential to discuss ideas that are not feasible. So we have six statements here that we are going to um, reduce to other phrases, okay? Try to do it in your notebook. And I'm going to ask you later. Number two says, before the manager listed the witnesses of the company all on a slide, he had presented new products to help the company increase sales. Number three, Andrew kept next messaging while he was in a video conference about the prototype for the new product. Number four, Many promising products ideas are ruled out after they fail to produce positive results in the swap analysis. The witnesses of the company can be transformed into opportunities after the careful contingency plan to alleviate then is decided. Before you present a new idea to the manager, you need to present a detailed list of costs and benefits. Okay, here we have the advert close, and you're going to make it advert phrases in the same way that you that we did it in the previous example. 
this one. Try to do it by yourself. I will give you 10 minutes. Teacher, I'm, yes. I'm going to eat my dinner. It's okay, uh, Rodrigo. Okay, I, 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 I'm staying here, but okay. without the camp. Me too, teacher. Who, Julio? Yeah. Okay, do it. Thank you. I'm starving, but uh, I, I wait, I wait after the class. <laughs> no, I mean, you can eat, no problem. So, um, I know that you are here, right? Excuse me? You can eat, no problem. Okay, okay, I okay. know that you are here. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. But just try to think in uh, um how to make the adverb close in adverb phrases, okay? Albert Kloss is when you use um, subject mm -hmm. plus verb, uh, right? Correct. Correct. An Albert phrase. Uh, I should use uh, ing. ing. ING verb after the, the adverb. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay. So in this case, the first sentence, uh, we can apply uh, which one? Uh, I don't know, which one can do use? Mm, I'm sorry, can you please repeat, Carlos? Uh, yes, uh, in the first sentences, it says, after the product development team finish brainstorm. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, we use uh, maybe after we, uh, I don't know, what, which one bird uh, I, I must use. After okay. we... Here. After the product development team finish brainstorming, where mm -hmm. do you identify the bird here? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es el verbo aquí? Ajá, finished, right? Mm -hmm. Finished. Mm -hmm. It could be after we finish brainstorming. After finish, finishing, brainstorming, finishing, yes. uh -huh, we don't include we. After Just finishing, uh -huh. start, okay. After finishing the brainstorming, it's essential to discard ideas that are not feasible. So, teacher, uh, we have to eliminate uh, the product development team, maybe? Yes, we need to eliminate that. Ah, uh, okay. To after. make it just adverb phrase. Oh, okay. After finishing brainstorm. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So, teacher, what's mean fe feasible? Feasible. Um. So the difference between good and bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, what will be according to the. Context. De acuerdo al contexto de la oración, ¿qué sería? ¿Negativo o positivo? Negativo. Uh -huh. Es no factible. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Feasible. Feasible. That are no like uh, achievable, right? Como que las que no se pueden lograr. 
that will be feasible. Michelle, I can do it the the other way that you explain us. Yes. Mm. Is the advert close? So we have the advert close here, right? And we're going to make the advert phrase. Okay. Oh, okay. Because it okay, says we use yeah. the adverb clause to adverb phrases. Oh, okay, okay. When okay. possible. Okay. When cuando sea posible. Because mm -hmm. there are some of them that are that is not possible. It is not possible to reduce them because the meaning, because the context that they have. It is really important to uh the information that we have. It is like uh the example three here. Mm -hmm. The new product project. It was really it is important this information to understand the idea, to understand what is uh the sentence it expressing or saying. That is why we cannot eliminate the, the information. Okay. Okay. That is why we need to be careful. If we eliminate important information in the sentences, um, we cannot understand it, right? So in that case, it would, would be not possible to do it. For example, number six, it says, before you present a new idea to the manager, you need to present um well and then we have the compliment in here we don't we don't need you so you can say before presenting a new idea to the manager you need to present a detailed list of costs and benefits so we can delete this part you and then add adding yeah. adding you to the bird right, because, because we can do it and we can understand the idea right but if we cannot understand the idea, if we delete that information, we cannot do it. For example, this one, number five, it says, the witnesses of a company can be transformed into opportunities after a careful con contingency plan to, the, to alleviate then is designate, designate. So it means this information can be deleted Yes or not? No. No, right? So in this no. case, it's not possible. Is it um, uh, clearer now, Carlos? We yes. need to uh, We need to analyze when we can delete information and do it at advert clause and when no. Okay. Okay. In the meantime, we can work also the homework to understand more because there we have uh, more exercises. Let me, like that, let me uh, open that. Uh, where is it? Here.
Okay. It says number one. And it says after they sung two songs, the performers did a dance. What we can delete in that sentence? They, they, they after uh -huh. singing, singing, after singing, 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 two songs, two the performance. <clears throat> we have to write all the sentences in the uh -huh. in the homework. Just the yes. Did a dance. Okay. Good. So we uh, we delete they. Yes. Uh -huh. And also we change the tense, right? After singing two songs, the performers did a dance. Okay, very good. So number uh, two, before he answered the phone, he grabbed a pencil and notepad. What we can change there? Before, Before answering. Answering. Answering the phone. I'm sorry. Before answering <clears throat> the phone. The phone. He grabbed a pencil and a notepad. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Here. Si tenemos un espacio de más, nos pone malo. He grab a pencil and no path. Okay, number three. While I was away in a college, I stayed with my roommate's family during one spring break. ¿Qué dijimos que íbamos a eliminar cuando teníamos un verbo to be? ¿Se acuerdan la regla? Mencionaba algo del verbo be. Voy a poner otra vez. Just the verb to be, be teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. If the clause the has a form of verb be, eliminate it. Right, so it means that we're going to eliminate the verb be, will be a while away mm -hmm. in college. Correct. Uh huh. And then everything this will be the same. I stayed with my roommate's family during one spring break. Okay, good. Number four, when she's working at home, Carla takes her youngest child to school in the morning. Carlos, help me with this one. ¿Cómo quedaría, Carlos? Okay, give me one second. Ah, uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. eh, I think... Uh, I will do it, uh, eliminate, uh, she is working instead to, um, I think, I don't know, teacher. You will eliminate she is. You're she going is. to add just when working. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. At home. Carla, when we mention there the name, we, we know that we are talking about Carla in the previous information. 
right? When working at home, Carla takes her youngest child to school in the morning. Okay. Okay, eh, en way. español, teacher, es cuando, cuando trabaja desde casa. Uh -huh. O sea, Carla toma a su, a, su, a su niño más joven. Más pequeño. Ajá, más pequeño. En la escuela. A la escuela. Uh -huh. La no, mañana. Ok. Number uh -huh. okay. okay. five. Although he was hurt. Jack managed to smile. <laughs> Sorry. Bless you, teacher. Bless Thank you. you. Okay. Today um, is Friday, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need to... I know, I know the reason. <laughs> okay. okay. What we can eliminate here? Bear to be. Bear to, be. to be. Also, first thing. He was, right? We can we can eliminate that. In this case, is a bear or not? Es un verbo este. Eh, no. No, no, no. No es verbo, ¿verdad? No. Entonces, ¿le podemos, lo, ¿le podemos agregar ING o no? No. No, because uh, in this case, uh, ¿qué función tendría? Adjective, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. Ok, uh, pero sí también puede ser un verbo, pero en este caso tiene la función de un adjective. So, would be in this way. Although hard, Jack managed to smile. Ok. Mm, I guess here I have a punctuation that is wrong. Let me double check. Or a space, maybe. <clears throat> After singing. After singing two songs, comma, the performers did a dance. Le falta una S. Falta la S, Miss. Performer. Performers. Ah, yeah, right. One, one letter. Okay, very good. There you have it. Okay, so now we have a better idea how to to reduce the sentences, Carlos. Excuse me, teacher. Excuse Do me. you have a better idea now how to reduce the sentences? Yes, I think that the idea is uh, try to do uh, the better uh, sense, maybe. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Or uh, knows about the uh, two means, or uh, uh, use the the better force to to say the the sentence. Okay. Grammar, grammarly, grammatically. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much.
Teacher, may I share the, the number two, the sentence in number two, I have a problem with the number two. Before oh, this I... one? Yes. Okay, let me share that in the chat. I have a mistake, but I don't know what, what happened. Maybe maybe a space, I think. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, thank you, teacher. Before answering, okay. Yes. Thank questions you. and other questions that you may have, guys. Any other students that have a question, please let me know. So if you consider that is confusing or difficult, I will bring more exercises in order we can do more practice, okay? I like seeing these uh, images or avatars. I don't know what is that, Cindy. <laughs> Before she has a uh, cat. Today is it's, it's me with a filter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Rodrigo has a parrot. <laughs> that was yeah. Funny. His name is <laughs> Nijo. Ah, okay. Good. Speak, speak the parrot. A few words. Really? And in English. <laughs> no. <laughs> in 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 Dutch. In Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he speaks uh, some words, but really? uh, he, he prefers uh, to sing some songs. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Interesting. For example. Mm, it knows the uh, a song of uh, the doors. Ah, uh, really? <laughs> some some uh, a pair to a pair songs of the doors, and one so and uh, one song of Guns and Roses. Really? November rains. November oh. rain. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this rocker Barrod. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. Okay, we're going to continue. <clears throat> so, number one, volunteers. I need volunteers. Or so let me assign one by one. Let me see. Uh, what are your opinions? Yes, Carlos? Excuse me. Um, I was... Um, Compare the the two sentences uh, translating in Spanish. Uh, so, for example, the first one is aunque herido, Jack logró sonreír, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the other way is aunque estaba herido, Jack logró sonreír. Correct. So, uh, aunque herido, uh, the question is uh which one the, the tense and the and the first example aunque herido is in is in this moment or, or was or... in the past remember that if that is in the past like the this let me see the other example which one ah yes let because Jack, Jack logró sonreír is in the past mm -hmm. Okay. Just we change the the um, here we was in past this one for example number one. Después que ellas cantaron dos canciones, uh huh. Mm -hmm. The performers did a dance. Okay. Um, los otras personas bailaron, right? And in the reduce will be after singing two songs, después de, 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 de que cantaron. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So the meanings, the meaning is, is the same, right? The difference is that it's a reduced way. Aquí mm -hmm. se reduce más la oración. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Sí, eh, lo que pasa, teacher, es que de repente me preguntaba qué tiempo era, ¿va? ¿Qué, qué tiempo uh -huh. era? Pero, pero sí eh, está dentro del contexto del pasado. ¿va? Del pasado, porque la segunda, la segunda oración después de la coma no cambia, es la misma. Entonces, sabemos que, sabemos que es buen pasado, igual no. que acá. Omitimos uh -huh. esta, que sabemos que fue pasado, pero esta la mantenemos, sabemos que también fue pasado. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. but well, the, the adverb phrases we use just in the past or we can make uh, another sentence in another time. For example, um, in future, present continuous or another time. <coughs> If you want to make a we can, short sentences, we can do it. So. Yeah, we can use any time. If you can see it here, we are using past and, and, and present. So we can use okay. any time. The difference is the, 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 re, the adverb close will be reduced. Va a ser reducida. Okay? Y no va a perder como el sentido de la de sí. lo que quiero explicar uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay good so number one after the product development teams finish brainstorming it is essential to discard ideas that are not feasible so in this case do you consider that we can reduce the sentences yes or not yes yes right Okay, how will be, Andres? After finishing brainstorming, is it essential to discard ideas that are, that are not feasible? Okay, good. Number two says, before the manager listed the witnesses of the company on a slide, okay, in una presentación, he had presented new products to help the company increase sales. Do you consider that we can delete information in this statement? Yes or not? Yes. 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 Uh, what, what information we can omit? The manager. The manager? So in that case will be before listing the witnesses of the company on a flight, he presented new product to help the company increase sales. Yes. Okay. Or instead of he, you can use here the manager. Para que se esperamos más específico que fue el manager. Entonces lo que haríamos es delete from here and add it here, right? Okay, number three, Andrew kept next messaging while he was in a video conference about the prototype for the new product. Which information we can delete? Mm hmm I made this sentence, teacher, but I don't know if it is correct. Mm -hmm. How do you did it? After keeping, 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 keeping text messages while Andrew um, you know, while while a video conference. I think that eliminate Andrew. Yes. Teacher. Mm, why? Uh, because the rule is eliminate the subject in the Albert clause. The subject. Mm -hmm. The subject, yes. Subject, uh huh. Okay. 
but how you would how you you are going to uh reduce the sentence that what will be the reduced sentence if you eliminate andrew mm. Maybe not make sense. I think they should. Doesn't make I, sense. I don't know. This. Mm, another opinion. Someone else. Rodrigo, Julio, Teacher. Robert, Gilberto. Uh huh. Uh, in in the case before keeping, take missing why he was in a video conference about the product. Prototype the new product. Mm. Okay, if we work with this sentence, si trabajamos desde esta oración en adelante, la regla dice que le eliminemos el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces, I'm sorry. Starbucks. <laughs> Yes, I will send a coffee to each one of you. <laughs> okay. Uh, if we eliminate this, we, we are going to say, while in a video conference, while so, in a video conference about the prototype for the new product, but we are missing this or this message here. ¿Qué pasó durante eso? Teacher, so we can use after keeping keeping text messages while in a video conference about the prototype for the new product we can make like this no mm -hmm. we can omit this because we are we are speaking about andrew right andrew kept text messages while durante el video la video conference right while in a video conference about a prototype for the new product. So we can meet this. Eliminate he was. Okay. Uh-huh. Eliminate he was. Okay. It's like okay. a red on, red on mm -hmm. <laughs> We can understand that was Andrew that we was uh, messaging during the video. Okay. During the video conference, he was, he was sending messages. Right, because Teacher, we already I'm have here. In English, redondear, like in Spanish, when we talk, when we say the word, but we say another reference of this word too. Um, we have synonyms. Que tenemos synonymous. That means the same, um, the same meaning, okay? Um, also, we can say in another words, in other palabras, we can say this. Or, um, no sé qué, qué se refiere cuando es redondear en Spanish. ¿A qué se refiere? Como, cuando redondeamos, como que decimos, este, Andrés fue al mercado, él compró en vez de decir ya una sola vez comprando, por ejemplo, decimos de nuevo el, 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 como el sujeto. Uh -huh. Sería como agregar más palabras entonces, right? Sí, como que redondeamos, o sea, de, ya dijimos una cosa y lo volvemos a... Y lo volvemos ah, a repetir. ¿Es, es redundar o redondear? Redondear, no, redondear, no, no, redondear es creo. Bueno, ¿Cómo es la palabra? ¿Redondar? No, es, es redundar. 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 Redundar, redundar. Ah, redundar yes. Ah, I was confused. Es, eh, Redu es redundear. Es matemática. 1.6, redondearlo a 2. O sea, a 3. 2.6 a 3. Ajá. ¿No? Y redundar, es como... Redundar. El vez Andrés habla sobre... Un día, dice Rodrigo. Que está Andrew y, 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 y el Higuá se refiere otra vez a, a él mismo. Entonces, algo así, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Ajá, es como Andrés, Andrés, va otra vez, va. 
Yeah. Andrew, Andrew. Mm, in English, it's easier to make shorter the the uh, phrases. I consider that uh, it is easier than in Spanish because in Spanish we can say a lot of information and we can um try to go around saying a lot of words to go to a specific uh meaning right or point that we want to go but in english is is i i consider that it's easier go to straight to the point mm -hmm. okay good number four many um just love it that let me double check this that is promising or promising now make sure promising 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 no it's promising okay promising many promising products ideas are ruled out after they fail to produce positive results in the SWOT analysis do you consider that we can um, reduce information from this phrase? Yes or not? We can omit they, we can say after failing. Many promise, pro, many promising products are ruled out after failing to produce positive results in the SWOT analysis. We can omit they. Do you agree? Yes. 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 Okay, number five. Uh, lady, are you available, lady? Yes, teacher. What do you think of number about number five? We can reduce information or not? Mm, no. No, right. No, no, because all the information here will be important. Mm -hmm. Okay, we said before that, yes, number six, yes, we can reduce you. We can say before presenting a new idea to the manager, you need to present a detailed list of cost and benefits. Eliminate you. Mm -hmm. We can eliminate you. Only you. Yes. Okay. And we are going to add ing to the bar percent. Right? Okay, very good. So for tomorrow, guys, we're going to we're going Monday. to give you the Please start. Come Saturday. <laughs> Monday. Monday. <laughs> <laughs> no, but tomorrow is Saturday, so you can go to the Starbucks. <laughs> okay, ah. let me send this video. Uh, go here. So I know that you can have it if you want to. Okay, great. Also the link so in, in the this material. lesson, our goal would be to apply the SWOT framework in practice. Shouldn't be that difficult, right? It is to apply the SWOT analysis. Okay. So let me send the link. This one is right. Okay, there you go. There you have it. Um, we're going to analyze that on Monday. And also um try to write a paragraph using the reduce adverb close of time and uh, no 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 it was not of time just the adverb reduce closed uh describe your favorite product in a market okay i'm going to ask you for that on monday which is your favorite product in the market and how do you describe it
I was no time. Just like that. Any product that you want to describe, you can do it, okay? And I will ask you on Monday, uh, which product is that one? Okay, for homework will be, watch this video, analyze it, how to apply swap, and write a paragraph using reduced adverb clauses. And we're going to check that on Monday. We already work on homework number three. So that will be everything for today, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and I hope you have a nice weekend. Sleep. Thank okay, you, teacher. teacher. Good night. Play. Have a good night. Have good a good night. Weekend. Good night. Take good care. Night. Good night.